Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Hope you're enjoying your amazing ride today on the Fluid Art Express with the amazing Shan B before me today. Amazing artist, isn't she? Love you, Shan. Always out of the box. So, what we are going to do today is we're going to play... I'm still playing with my radial swipes, but... What I'm thinking is, we might do something a little different and see what we can turn it into. Just another experiment, because why not? Don't want to do the same thing every week, but I must put a big shout out to um, Nikki D. If you've seen the radio she's been doing lately, oh my god, they are divine. She's done one with um, just Grenache and the Gold CA, and there was one with my Magic Blues. Absolutely amazing. I was totally in awe looking at those. So I thought today I'm still playing with the radial, so I think we just need to experiment, do something a little bit outside the box. Let's see what we can come up with. I love this. All my blues at the moment too, by the way. I do apologise, I'm not giving you names, but Venom's been at the custom blues for me again, so I'd probably have to name about ten for one colour. So, don't want to put you to sleep. Put you on a snore alert. Alright. So I'm just laying the colours too a bit different this time because I just want to see if I can get some different effects with laying them in different ways. Because usually I just do rings of colour and let them all intertwine. And this time I thought, no, you know what? I want to I wanna try and do it in layers. So started with my Magic Blues. And I'm just going to work my way out with the colours. And just see how, what different effects we get. So I think we'll put one more blue down. And then we'll change to the next one. Yeah, a little bit of shimmer there. That's what we want. Well, I suppose once we get to the end, we'll decide whether we're going to leave it alone or we're going to have a play and enhance it. I guess we'll find out when we get there. So if there's anyone out there too that doesn't know that um, Venom has an amazing, amazing group of artists and what I call the art fa art family. They are all writing in our group on Facebook. Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art. If you haven't joined, come and join us. There's just some amazing people there. It's only positivity. And what I really actually hope to see the group grow is just to promote the fluid art world and all the amazing people that are in it. Lighten up the world with all this colour. It really is an amazing form of art too because there's so many different variations, techniques, it's really sky's the limit fluid art. I used to do a lot of brush painting and um, charcoal sketching but um, I must admit this this is a, a lot more fun definitely a lot more fun amazing color this one by see now I know this one hasn't been played with because it's one of our favourites in the Venom Garage. It's the um, Mosh by this little piggy. Such beautiful pigments. They really are. 
I love if um, obviously they're mixed with the right thing at the end they just stay the same color really beautiful so while we're playing with the piggies I think we better add my other favorite which is the famous boogie so I got that right for weeks I was calling it um, groovy because someone put a different label on the lid so as I admitted the other week I um I know now it's boogie Then again, I'm sure everyone forgave me. They all know that Bubbles isn't technical. Far from it. <laughs> all right, we'll go in with our last colour. This one's a Pebio yellow. So we'll get that around the edge. Hopefully this experiment turns out well. So as I said, usually when I personally do a radial, I, I lay the colors very different. As I'm learning as you go along, different colours, different places, get some amazing different effects. We just need a little bit there. Alright. Guess Venom better make me some more of that one later. <laughs> really? Hint, hint, dear. Oh, joy. Well, I do know how to make them, but um, mm. I don't have time for that. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, that's right. I'm not here. Shh. That's right. I'm the weekend warrior. So when I finish a week of work, I just want to paint. Such a good stress reliever. Now I'm just laying a little bit of interference gold here and there now, just in really just willy-nilly splashes around the outside. Just a little bit here and there. Hopefully give it a little bit of shimmer and shine. Now I'm gonna, uh, I think I might pop those bubbles this week. I haven't been doing that because I like to run the gauntlet and see what's gonna come through sometimes. But, been a bit different. Grab my lovely Fluid Art Company swipe tool. They are the best for doing radials. I love them. Definitely a step up in the world from my playing cards. They are very nice. Oh, they're beautiful. Great pieces of equipment. It's just the, the angle they sit on every, everything. They're so comfortable in your hand. Alright, let's see how we go. Might just give that a quick little tilt this way. Just so we're a bit more centered. Let's do this. So I always love to just keep a finger on the spinner and just walk it around slowly. Don't have to be in a hurry. What is your hurry? Never rush something you enjoy. All right, so I'll just wipe my swipe tool down. So it's clean for next time? Yes. Excellent. All right, I really so should do that. You should do that, but you never do, dear. Oops. Come on, shush, it's all about me now. Sorry. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, I think, is I think we're going to have a play. Why not, eh? So what we might do is start right here. Actually, right there. 
I'd love to see what this is going to look like if we drag those gorgeous mosh and boogie and make like this flower pattern around here now spinning back around so we can grab all them pieces we didn't get there when we get back to where we're up to we'll stop push it in and we'll pull him out so now what I think we might do is take these edges no we're going to start more there just get some of that orange so it seeps out into the yellows Walk him around a bit. And we're back to where we were. Yeah, I'm going to have to touch that centre. Let's see what we can do with this. Just didn't like that bit. We'll just... So we'll change it. That looks better. And so I don't get two fatter cells blowing out there, I'll just dab some of that cell activator through. Alright, I think we might take it for a spin. We might just lean him that way for a minute. Now, what I'm going to do is, because I didn't get many cells up here, so I think we'll walk it up a little bit first and get it moving. So I just want them to rise up a bit for me. Great little trick I learnt from one of my lessons with Venom, aka Wombat. Yeah, I think we'll centre that a bit more. I think we'll take it for a real spin. A little bit more. Yeah, we'll take it for a real spin. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Started off with a standard radial. We got those famous skewers out. How good are they? Cheapest tool on the market, so effective. And we'll just scrape these sides. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Bit of a different crazy style radial, isn't it? That's what I mean. You really don't have to do what everybody else is doing, like take their ideas. You know, we wouldn't be blooming without the amazing um, Shelley up bringing them to us, but, and we thank her and, you know, it's a fantastic style, one of my favourites, but there's nothing wrong with experimenting and changing it up to have your own style. Okie dokie. So... That is me done for this week. Next up after me today, we're going to have the amazing Tony, the hippy dippy painter man. That voice. Don't tell me you don't love it. And keep watching the, watching the Express, guys. Every week, same time. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Stay safe. And I'm sure I'll see you on the next Student vs. Teacher. Thanks, guys. <laughs>